nutshell by Allison Chains. Guys! No, I got nothing. So we're going to play the song. This should be one of those short and sweet ones. But I've ne I have literally never made a short and sweet video. But the guys, this one's just this one riff that keeps going over and over and over. It's going to be so much fun. We're going to love it. The Alice in Chains herself tunes down one half step to E flat standard when they play this song. I'm in just standard tuning because... You know, because then we don't have to tune down. Later on, after you learn the song, you can tune down a half step and then play along with the recording. It'll sound the way it does on the recording. You may, I don't have a capo with me. The easy way to tune down a half step is put a capo on the first fret and then use your clip-on tuner to tune to standard tuning and then take the capo off and then you'll be all set, guys. <laughs> First thing we need to do is we need to get this E minor 7 chord all lined up and ready to go. Put your pointer finger, 2nd fret, 2nd string from the top, middle finger, 2nd fret, 3rd string from the top. Then, put your ring finger on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string from the bottom, and your pinky on the 3rd fret of the very bottom string. This is our E minor 7 chord, one of the very few chords in this song. Get intimately familiar with it. Don't get too weirdly intimately familiar with it. Just memorize the chord is what I'm trying to say. On this chord, you're gonna strum down, down, up. Let's do that together. Kind of starting things off right with a down, down, up. One, two, here we go. Down, down, up. Then you're gonna strum something else. I already forget how to play the song. Did I even say what song we're playing? This is Nutshell by Alice in Chains. My name's Stuart, welcome to the channel. Like and subscribe. I've taught you one chord, isn't that so valuable? How could you not subscribe? So on the E minor seven, we strum down, down, up. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift up your pointer finger, your middle finger, and your pinky, but keep your ring finger in the same spot. What we're doing is we're switching to a D chord, but while you are mid switch and you've just lifted up those three fingers, strum up again, then we go to the full on D chord, which is that ring finger on the third fret of the second to bottom string, middle finger, second fret on the bottom string, and pointer finger on the second fret of the third string from the bottom. Uh, guys, I have to tell you something very important about the D chord. When you play the D chord on this song, and essentially every song, you do not want to play this top string, the thickest string. The, 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 the most foolproof, excellent way to solve this problem of the top string is just take your thumb, bring it up over the top, and just touch the top string. Look, I would like you, I would like you to see what I'm doing here. I am not actually wrapping my thumb all the way around. I'm just kind of pushing on the top of the neck. And then, look, this is gross, I apologize, but the squishy part of my thumb just squishes down and just touches the top string like that. We just want to mute it. And then when you play the chord, Oh, beautiful D chord. Okay, so we've got down, down, up, lift up those three fingers, strum up, get the D chord ready with your thumb muting the top string and strum down. So that was down, down, up, up, down. One, two, play with me. And down, down, up, up, down. One, two, one more time. Down, down, up, up, down. Did I mess up one of those times? It is at this point that we switch to the world famous C add nine chord, guys. Well, how you do that is you once again lift up every finger except for your ring finger. Keep your ring finger in the exact same spot. Bring your middle finger up to the third fret of the second string from the top and put your pointer finger on the second fret of the third string from the top. Just like that, guys. This is a C add nine chord. On this chord, you're gonna strum down, down, up, down. One, two, do that. Down, down, up, down. Except I lied to you because we're gonna make one tiny little adjustment on that last down we just did. You're gonna lift up your pointer finger and strum it without the pointer finger. So that was down, down, up, no pointer finger. Do that with me, here we go. Down, down, up, no pointer finger. Great job. Hammer on time. What do you know about hammers ons? Here's what I'm gonna tell you about them. What a hammer-on is, is it's when you play the string and then without replaying the string, you take one of your fingers and you just smash down on one of the frets. That was the worst hammer-on I've ever done in my entire life. I tried to go like this. That was a good one, you could hear it. So what I'm, you see what I'm doing here? My pointer finger is off the string, but then when I'm ready for it, I just 
hit the string with my pointer finger, uh, like that. So then we've got, we're gonna do that, is the, the point I'm trying to make. We go down, down, up, down. Uh, how do you play guitar? It goes like this. Down, 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 up, hammer. Oh, down, 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 up, hammer. How you doing? Let's, should we play from the beginning, from the E minor seven? Very slowly, one, two, here we go. Down, down, up, that's like full speed. What's wrong with me? One, two, that's the exact same speed. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, and D, C. Down, down, up, hammer. One more time, friends. Down, down, up, a D, C at nine. Down, down, up, hammer. Are we doing it? I literally hit my knee and my, my reflex came in. I can't show you my reflex thing because here's the thing, guys. I have a secret for you. I have a disgusting, dark, miserable secret for you. This is the first time ever I have recorded one of these videos with bare feet. Mm, do I, I feel like I'm just, I'm ashamed to say it, but I feel like it's this dark secret that I can't hold in. After that down, down, up hammer, we're just gonna do the exact same thing again. We go down, down, up, hammer again. So from the beginning of the of the C add nine chord, we go down, 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 up, hammer, down, down, up, hammer. Are you ready to play with me? Down, 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 up, hammer, down, down, up, hammer. Great job. Then let's just keep going. I'm still on that C add nine chord, we're gonna go down, down, up again. But then instead of doing the hammer on, we're gonna tack on a little down, up, down, up. So it's down, 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 up, hammer, down, down, up, hammer, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Let's do it. Let's just do it. One, two, a little bit slower. Down, 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 up, hammer, down, down, up, hammer, down, down, up, down, up, down. Two more strums, for, and then and then I don't know, and then I guess we're gonna learn the next part. I've I arbitrarily decided to say two more strums. After down up down up, you're gonna you're gonna take your middle finger and your pointer finger. You are going to remove them from the strings. You're then going to take your pinky and you're gonna put it on the third fret of the bottom string. In fact, I would recommend you do those two things at the same time. Lift those, put that down. You're gonna strum up on just the bottom few strings like this. So that was down, up, down, up, up. One, two, just that part. Down, up, down, up, up. So we have two ups in a row. This is crucial. If you try to go down, up, down, up, down, everything's gonna be screwed up and your whole guitar playing career is gonna be over. One, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up, up. Then. Your pointer finger and your middle finger are back in the game. Your pointer finger goes to the second fret on the second string from the top. Your middle finger goes to the second fret on the third string from the top. Does this chord look familiar? Hopefully it does because this is the chord we started with. You're gonna strum down on this chord, but I have to warn you, the rhythm feels weird. It feels like we're rushing into this chord because it's a little, it's like anticipated, but it's more than anticipated. It's like a syncopation. It's like the, the rhythm like tries to confuse you here, but once you get used to it, it's gonna be great. So that little thing we just did was down, up, down, up, up, down. Let's do that together. That was on the C add nine. I'm going down, up, down, up. Then pinky goes down. These fingers come up, up, and then back to the E minor seven and strum down. Down, up, down, up, up, down. Let's play it together, gang. Down, up, down, up, up, down. One more time, here we go. And down, up, down, up, up, down. I'm making you repeat this a lot because the rhythm is hard. The only way you're gonna get it is if you hear it a bunch and you just try playing it a bunch, okay? At this point, what we're going to do is we're going to play it from the beginning. I know, we've all forgotten the beginning. I've forgotten the beginning. Forgotten even how to say the word beginning. I'm trying too hard to, to, to be like fake mad today. Another problem I'm having is I keep staring at the monitor and I know the trick. I know that if I just turn the brightness down on my monitor, then I don't get lost into my hypnotizing eyes in the monitor, but I just can't help it, you guys. I don't know. 
It's almost like I do it on purpose. I just want to stare at myself in the monitor. From the beginning, we went like this. We went down, down, up, and DC at nine. Down, down, up, hammer. Down, down, up, hammer. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Pinky E minor seven. Let's do it again slowly and I won't yell as much stuff. This, I'm, this, this is the noisiest chair I've ever had in my entire house. One, two, and a one, two, really slow. Down, down, up, and D, C at nine. Down, down, up, hammer. Down, down, up, hammer. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Pinky down on the E minor. At this point in time, so you strum that E minor, and then you're gonna take your time, strum the E minor again, and then you're gonna strum down, down, up. This is, I'm sorry, this is the part of the video where I just lose all motivation, and I just wonder what I'm even, what I'm even doing. So we just went down, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up. That's what we do, down, 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 up. Play that with me. Just, just, just go. Just, just do from the C at nine. Two, three, four. Ba -ga -da -ba -da down, 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 down. Out. I like the way I say that. It's gonna be stuck in my head from the rest of the day. From the rest of the day. Go die, guys. That's the whole riff. We've learned the whole thing. Well, I mean, like, there's little variations. I'll show you a couple variations. But first, what we got, what we really have to do, is we have to play the whole thing all the way through two times in a row. We need to do it slowly, painfully slowly. I'll try not to yell too much while we play it, but I'm gonna yell a little bit. See, I didn't turn the brightness down again. It was on purpose. I just wanted to stare at myself. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, and D, C at nine. Down, down, up, hammer. Down, down, up, hammer. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, pinky E minor. Down, 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 up, the hardest part is I know what the hardest part is hardest part is starting it over right because we did that we did that look the rhythm is tricky here we go down up down up up down wait down down I didn't really mention that part there's like you heard me do it but there's like a rest after we play the E minor 7 again we have to we have to count like uh we have to count a beat that's how I always count beats I just go uh it's effective the James Brown method of counting beats hi I almost just disclosed personal information about someone who did not give me permission to disclose personal information. One, two, three, four. I don't, I don't know. I just was trying to change the subject. Let me take it from the down, up, down, up on the C at nine. I will count that, uh, that rest. And then I'm going to count down, 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 up. I'm going to count that. No, I'm going to say it. And then I'm going to say beginning. When we get to the beginning, you'll hear how it fits together. I don't know. Just, you're just going to have to do it a bunch of times. One, two, three, Four. Down, up, down, up, up, down, uh, down, 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 the beginning, down, up, up, down, down. I'm really starting to yell loudly today. All right, let's bring it back, guys. We've, we've, we've essentially learned the song. I have to show you the little, the little solo part. I'm gonna do that on electric. I don't like playing that on acoustic, so I'm gonna switch guitars. That's gonna be a whole thing. So before we do that, let's just talk about some of the variations that happen in the song. What do I mean by variations? Does anyone in the class have an answer? You. You're wrong. That's not the answer. A variation just means they keep playing the same basic thing over and over again, but just tiny little changes. Duh, that's just regular English. Everybody knows that. Here's an example of one of the little variations he'll throw in. You know how we did the two hammer-ons in a row? We did down, 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 up, hammer. Down, down, up, hammer. Sometimes he won't do the hammer ons the same. He'll go like down, 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 up, hammer. Down, down, up, uh, uh, uh. It sounds cool. If we're being honest, guys, I don't really remember how he does it. Also, I don't think it would be the most effective use of your time to try to learn all these variations. Just learn the main riff and then the variations will come automatically. Who am I to tell you what's an effective use of your time? I think you should drink a lot of Gatorade. You should spend as much time underwater as possible. And I think it would be very beneficial to you if you made sure to spend as much 
time every morning breaking your fast. Another variation. You know the C odd nine chord? Sometimes he goes to a C major seven chord. What's that? That's when you just get rid of your ring finger and you go. See, no ring finger. So anyway, those are some variations. You can check them out sometime or whatever. I don't know what that means. Just keep playing the regular main riff, get really good at it. And that's all I have to say about that. Let's switch to electric guitar. <laughs> That's it. Let me show you the standard tuning still, or no. It's tuned down a half step. I'm doing it the same way I did the other one. They tuned down a half step. I'm not tuned down a half step. Done. But here's what you need to do. You're gonna play with, the, uh, here's how I do it. Ring finger is gonna smash down on the 12th fret of the bottom three strings, you guys. On the 12th fret, I already said that. You're gonna play the bottom string. Then play the second to bottom string. Then play the third string from the bottom. Immediately after that, with your middle finger, play 11 on the third string from the bottom. Play that note, you give it a little bend, and then bring it right back. So it's a little like bend up, then bend it back down. So then you're gonna play nine on the third string from the bottom, then play nine on the third string from the top, guys. So that was not like that, it goes like this. Once you get to that nine, you're gonna slowly bend it. So gradually bend it up. You know, I've seen some live videos, one, I've seen one live video, where instead of bending that nine, he just hammers onto the 10th fret. He goes. Definitely on the recording, he's bending it, but I'm just saying, if you don't like bending, that hammer on to 10 is an option. Let's play that together. One, two, here we go. Two, three, four. Great job. Let's do it one more time. One, two, here we go. And two, three, four, five, six. That next part. So you count those six beats or whatever. And then you're going to play. 10 on the bottom string with pinky, then I do eight on the second string from the bottom with middle finger, then with your pointer finger, you're gonna smash down on the seventh fret of the middle two strings. You're gonna play third from the bottom, then play third from the top, and then do that quick little bend up, then bend back. Now you notice, I'm actually bending the string down. Whether you bend up like that or bend down like that, you're always bending the note up. With, unless you do some fancy weird stuff, there's no way you can like bend a note to a lower pitch. Hi. Immediately after that, you're gonna play five on the third string from the top and then pull off to four on the third string from the top. Or you could slide from five to four. What I try to do usually is I do the bend on the seven and then I just go middle finger on five and then pull off to four. You also though could go bend and then play with your pointer finger and slide to four. I like the strumming part more. 